What's up, Snoop Troop? AKA Lee Carson in the building. Hi, guys. My name is Marcia. Pop over to my channel, The Diva Just Me. Yes, guys, I'm in London, UK. We're on our way to a thousand. Come over and subscribe, guys. Yes, big up, Snoop Troop. Welcome back, Snoop Troop. Man. Man, I'm looking rough. I need a haircut, y'all. It's been a while. I look like Grizzly Man. I'm low-key liking the big beard, though. Let me know how y'all feel about it. I went and got me some... Uh, I've been running 100 miles an hour, so... I went and got me some... I wanted some Chinese food. I was going to go to Panda, but... It was too far away. It's some egg drop soup. Now, I never had egg drop soup, but... Um, anything with eggs in it is good to me. I guess. Some crab ragoons, of course. And then, this is what I've been waiting for. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll throw some crab ragoons in here. Try to grab me a thumbnail out of this. Ooh, an egg roll. I can't be saying that. My bad to the Asian community for. Shoot. Anyway, let me go ahead and get a prayer because I really want to try this egg drop soup. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Amen. Ooh, egg drop soup for your boy. And then they gave me a whole thing of rice. Ooh, it's fried. Ooh, it's fried. You got to pay a dollar for that extra fried. But when you having things, what's well, a dollar to a... What's a dollar to the Snoop Troop? Nah. I got a dollar. A dollar make you holler. I should have thrown some shrimp in there. Maybe that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna have to pause this. I'm sorry. They didn't give me any utensils. So I guess I gotta eat with my hands. Oh man. Please don't be in my comments talking crazy. It's been real crazy these past few weeks. Man, people just be talking the craziest. I love it though, cause you know, no, I don't love it. Sometimes, the so better your views are, you know, the more the crazy the people, the crazy people come. Oh, egg drop soup, everybody. Oh, this tastes like, um, it just tastes like yolk. Mmm. This is delicious. This is probably, hold on. This is probably one of the best soups I've ever had in my life. It's like thick too. This is just like full eggs. Mmm. I'm amazed. I'm not even capping for the tube. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. I've been starving all day. I just got off work. I've been running 100 miles an hour. So I guess, quick backstory. My time in Wisconsin, even though I had a ball, I kind of did some deep thinking like, I was drunk every single day. And I'm kind of like, like coming back to Texas, I'm like, you know, I came here for a reason to, you know, be on business, to get like different type of work done, to be on comedy, to produce better YouTube videos, produce better content, and not just be going out trying to kick it, you know, and uh, getting drunk and partying and 
So ever since I came back, I uh, stopped drinking. And my energy's just been through the roof. It's been crazy. And I'm like, wow, I haven't had this much energy in a long time. Turns out I was drinking the whole time. Yeah, but I'm just full of energy. I wake up at like 6 a.m. and I'm not, I don't even get tired till like 1 a.m. I had to take, uh, and I know people are going to be like, you shouldn't be taking stuff to sleep because I was talking to somebody yesterday saying that, because um, I was also a little sick too, so. I was a little sick. Um, went to the hospital and everything, but, you know, they don't give me nothing. They just, whatever. So I've just been taking NyQuil and Benadryl to get to sleep. And uh, waking up to like a Red Bull and I've just been going throughout the whole day, all day. And with all this energy, I'm like, uh, man, I need to be doing something with my time. What is sweet and sour? Duck sauce. No, where's my... I'm sorry. I'm gonna try the duck sauce with this crab ragoons. <clears throat> well, I only got one crab ragoon anyway. <clears throat> I'm to find something productive to do with my time. Even though I've been running, running like crazy. Woke up, ran three miles this morning. I'm about to hopefully, let's not try to knock this video out because I'm about to go to the park quick and try to knock out another three. Um, before I, just to kind of get rid of some energy. Run these collars off. And hopefully, got a road trip coming up to Dallas soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm like, man, I need to do something with my time. So I applied, and plus I could go for some more money. Cause Houston is expensive. It's like the perfect timing because I'm not super tired and lethargic all the time. And I like want to get up and be active and be moving. And do something more with my time. So I got a job. Which sucks. No, I don't suck. It's cool. Because I don't think I have clocked in and about two years, two and a half years I haven't worked for anybody. Something crazy. And um, it's weird being back. It's nice because uh, people aren't really bossing you around. So I'm in sales, so it's kind of like in solar sales. So it's kind of like you get what you put in. So nobody's nobody's gonna be over my back like you need to be doing this. And like if you don't do it, this that's your money you mess not. Well, that's cool, it's like self motivating stuff. Which I'm highly motivated. Cause I want me a Corvette too. Nah. I do need a new car. This car got the hiccups now. Something. This car shut off on me in the middle when I was at a red light. I'm like, well, no. Don't do this to me. <laughs> but if you're in Texas, you need some solar, hit me up. DM me. you a homeowner. You need, some, you need some info. I'm your guy. But... I was thinking I really want to get into, I want to be kind of more out and about, and I met, I'm, and I met a bunch of people, which I think is cool because I think the only way I know me and Dalvin and, well, not really Levante yet, because we didn't, I don't think we got to that, but was talking about, um, like joining some sort of gym for, uh, boxing or jujitsu or you know something like that one you meet more people because when you're just doing youtube you, it's like the lifestyle is just kind of it's really you really kind of to yourself 
unless you're like networking with other YouTubers, but to get out and like meet everyday Houstonians and stuff like that. It's something I really want to do. And, um, mm, geez, Louise. I know Levante does as well. See in the city. I'm excited. I'm not going to. I'm trying to think to myself, how long do I not want to drink for? I think maybe to the end of the month. But I'm going to definitely slow down like way less than I used to um, or did for a while. There's a lot of stuff in life that you just. Let me just have a drink. Let me just have a drink about it. Instead of, I guess, just mentally getting over it. And I feel like I got to that point to where it's like, all right, you need to. That's cool every now and then, but you can't keep finding excuses about reasons to drink. So I'll say, we drink to our comp. Well, it's a, it's a Drake line. He said, drinking every night because we drink to our accomplishments. So, I mean, I don't got. I don't have an accomplishment every day, but I think uh, the new tune will be to drink to accomplishments instead of your woes. I think that's how I'm going to move forward from well, here on out. Let me go ahead and get some artist egg dots. See, this ain't really hitting like I wanted it to. And I don't have a fork, and I don't want to keep licking my fingers the whole time. Wow. Wow. But I was thinking about trying to get into, because I saw James Mizuki. Shout out James Mizuki. I wish you didn't stop doing YouTube, but I know y'all be busy. Um, I think he's doing bartender work, and they seem to love it. Well... Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she came from being a bartender. Being able to talk to people, meet people, everyday people. I mean, it'll get annoying after a while because dealing with drunk people. Being sober when you're around drunk people is the most annoying. And I know I probably done irked a lot of people. <laughs> being the drunkest one in the room. I haven't been on panels. I'll, I'll be talking real crazy. And I'll be having no filter. Oh, Did I spill something? No. But I went out with uh, Levante and Rich, and I was just... Just deep breath, deep breath. It'll be over soon. Everybody in there drunk but you. But it's also a, a testament to how strong, like, willed are you. And this ain't no AA meeting. This is, I'm just saying, like, kind of how my <clears throat> my past few weeks been going because I've been see even like like now I'm so like wired. I need to get out and go run some more, burn some energy. But um, yeah, I feel I feel honestly I feel really good. I feel healthy, a lot healthier. Being a uh, Mm. I'm mad nobody told me about egg drop soup, y'all. Hopefully, uh, I can catch catch a quick three miles before the sun goes down, cause I'll be I'll running in these trails. It's the Buffalo Bayou. I just started running that one. If you in Houston, you know if you know, or if you you know you've been to Houston, then it's a popular trail, and that. Every time I find a new trail, I keep saying it's my favorite one. But this one is my favorite. I think it's a long loop. There's a bunch of people out um, running. But the one thing I don't like about it is people biking. And that's because it's been like four or five times where they just zoom right past me. Granted, you got I got my headphones in and stuff. But you zoom past me like, you know, you run to the... 
I don't know if you run to the far right. You run to the far right because people coming this way are on the left. So if you see me running to the far right, then you go on the left. Man, I feel like some of these bikers gonna knock me over. And I feel like if they knock me over, they're not gonna stop and be like, hey, are you okay? They're gonna keep it moving. I'm like, get out of my way. Mm. I really wish I had a spoon to eat some of this soup. Oh, you know what? I got a straw. Mm. This is honestly the best. This is really good. I need to find out how they make this. Mm. But I do have a whole bunch of other stuff I want to um, talk about, but I'm going to wait till I get Levante with me. Um, he's just one of his, um, one of his people who live out here. Um, and then we, we gonna talk about some stuff cause we got some, it's been a, it's been a wild ride. I'm not gonna say. But, um, hopefully we can get him to start his channel soon. We're he new to the YouTube streets, so y'all take it easy. Y'all, you know, never mind. That's a conversation for another day. But we do have some. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't know. I told you my brain is everywhere. It's scattered. Maybe I have ADHD. I don't know. I don't know. But, mmm. This is just so good. I'm tired of doing 14, 15 minute videos too. I really wanna make them longer. But if I'm getting off of work at four, I'll just start filming in the house. But I just wanna, I just need to make sure I'm having constant content, content because in Wisconsin, I didn't film. I filmed one thing and I need to make sure I'm not going that long. without making content. Unless I have nothing to talk about, which I had a whole bunch to talk about. I had a whole bunch of people to film with. It was just, you know, we were sauced up every day. You know, like three, four, five bartenders and everybody's like, come visit me. I got nothing else to do. I'm down there on vacation. Everybody else is bartenders. And then when they get off work, they want to go kick it, so. But I, I am glad I went, because it really helped Put me back on like a mental track or, you know, my goals for moving to Houston was in the first place. If that makes sense, y'all. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh... Wow. I'm really in it. I hope there's a. Cr I need to go get some bottle of water. Mm. I'm really amazed at how good this was. I don't know if it's gonna be good warmed up, but egg drop soup, everybody. If you haven't tried this, I need to make some for my own because this was the best stuff I ever had in my life. I thought, and the crazy thing is, I was gonna go get some gumbo from Rupor because they got some of the best gumbo, but um, I don't want to drive all the way out there. And uh, <laughs> I thought that was the best. Is gumbo soup? I don't know. I thought that was the best soup I ever had in my life. And that was my first time having gumbo when I came out here. But then this. Egg drop soup, everybody. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Follow me on all my socials. Ellie Carson, L-E-C-A-R-S-O-N. Instagram. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Ellie Carson. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm so glad you tuned in this time. Keep my shit been going, oh, see, no, you are not my bro. Bleak, quit acting like you know me.